Today, I would like to talk about a very important subject. Uh, let me start by telling you a story. When I was a child, my grandmother had a, a farm, and in that farm there were animals. Among the animals, there was this uh, huge uh, Portuguese mountain dog uh, named Caesar. And Caesar was kept in a cage uh, because in the past people had bad experiences with this dog. These mountain dogs are used by shepherds to protect from wolves, and no wolf, big or small, has a chance against the Portuguese mountain dog because they're uh, as big as a small lion and uh, fierce dogs. When they bite, they don't uh, 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 release. And uh, this dog was kept in the cage because we were told that he had beat someone. He was uh, quite uh, uh, threatening. Um, big dogs sometimes are threatening, the way it barked, the way it behaved. And I remember being a child and we finished dinner. Uh, we were at the farm for a holiday and uh, she decided to take uh, the rest of the meal, uh, bones and meat, to Caesar. And as she approached, the dog first showed itself docile, but as she uh, 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 serves the food uh, to the dog, uh, the dog becomes enraged and beats her in the arm. It um, uh, was very hard to release, and she was uh, severely injured in uh, her arm. Um, as she was feeding the dog, doing something nice for the dog uh, out of compassion because it was always kept uh, in that cage. Now, um, Caesar uh, was punished, my mother was stitched, but, uh, and life continued. The lesson uh, was this one. Sometimes animals bite the hand that feeds them. Now, let me transpose this to your world and my world, to the real world. I was reading last month uh, on the news that the White House uh, dog, Joe Biden's dog, which is a German shepherd, uh, beat 25 different people from the Secret Service. It's quite something. You know, when a dog starts biting humans, um, we have compassion for animals, but sometimes we need to put them down because they, they just cannot contain themselves. And, and so that's why even uh, the, the dog that's in the, uh, the most guarded place in the world, pr probably, presumably, uh, was able uh, to do this and was biting all the people uh, that uh, it could. So uh, with animals, uh, we have uh, ways of dealing these situations. Many uh, years ago also, my daughter was petting a Chinese shepherd dog and the dog bit her in her face. And uh, it, it was really hard to see. They kept the dog. He, uh, I know the dog continued and keep, kept uh, biting children until they had to put the dog down. Now, in our life, uh, we encounter situations with people that sometimes have the same type of animal reaction of betrayal or biting uh, the hand that feeds them. And today, I would like to have this uh, meditation with you and encourage you to cut ties, to sever relationships uh, with people that have a tendency to hurt you. Because uh, they're not animals, uh, you cannot put them down. That's not the goal of this message. But you can put them down in your life. So you can uh, get away from those toxic relationships. You can put those people away. Let me uh, mention 
something that I've read uh, in the Bible, in the New Testament, that's very interesting. Uh, it's the Apostle Paul that says in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, don't be fooled by those who say such things, for bad company corrupts good character. So bad company corrupts good character. So I don't know if your character is good or bad. I tend to uh, convince myself that I have good character, though some people may disagree. But the uh, uh, parts of me, of my character that are good, can be contaminated by company. Uh, in my youth, I was e eager to relate with people that I considered cool, and that led me to start smoking marijuana, then uh, taking pills, then taking acid. I ended up addicted to heroin, and this almost destroyed my life and occurred in a circumstance where I wanted to be with the company of those that, that I considered my friends. They were not. Uh, and, and so in life, we have all sorts of uh, experiences, and we can have the, this experience of being bit by a dog. That dog, Caesar, that uh, uh, bit my mother, uh, continued to live on the cage. And the dog had an appropriate uh, name, um, Caesar. You know, considering the story of Caesar, Caesar, Julius Caesar, which was one of the most famous emperors of the Roman Empire, a general, a fierce warrior, uh, we know uh, through the Shakespearean uh, writings uh, that, uh, well, I know it was romanticized by Shakespeare, but that he had uh, an, uh, two close people, two close friends. One was his son, Brutus, and uh, another, uh, Antonio, or Anthony in English. So um, they were uh, with him. And we know that uh, uh, Brutus, his son, ends up killing his father. So one of uh, Caesar's closest friends, a son, uh, ends up killing him, the most feared general, the most feared emperor, one of the most feared men uh, in history. Um, it's, uh, it, it's worth the reading uh, of that uh, Shakespearean uh, uh, romance about him. We can learn so many things from history. And sometimes it's people that are close to us that will sort of kill us. Uh, that, that can happen uh, uh, virtually uh, as uh, people kill us spiritually. They can kill a, a dream. They can kill uh, parts of us. Uh, the worst case scenario is when someone kills another person for real. Uh, but um, uh, we have all sorts of people in our life that try to kill areas of our life, try to kill you. And, and so today, I want to encourage you to put down those dogs, to uh, remove those people from your life. Uh, I've learned that there is uh, people that approach us with second intentions, uh, one of those, it's the type of Judas, the Judas type. These are people that are ready to betray you. Though you always doing good, you're uh, teaching them, you're encouraging them, you're a good influence to them, but uh, because they're jealous of the work of God in your life, they'll try to kill you. Then you have also family uh, members or close friendships that are uh, household enemies. Those are people that stick around you, but uh, they have no loyalty to you. They seem loyal, but in the first uh, occasion, they will uh, come, come at you. And then you have uh, opportunists and pretenders, uh, people that approach you to see what they can get out of you, uh, what they can draw out of you. And um, I, I've had so many of these in my life. And we, the, the error we uh, often uh, do, uh, we commit that error many times in life, is let them stay. And Jesus Christ himself was uh, betrayed 
by a disciple, one of the 12 closest friends whom he let stay. Well, I don't want to argue the theological reasons why this happened, but just to give you the example that we all have Judas in our life. We all have uh, 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 opportunists that come and try to uh, stick to you, parasites that suck the blood out of you and they keep you uh, um, from achieving the best that life has to give you. And there's signs that we can observe of toxic uh, relationships, both with friends or in the context of, uh, uh, of a close relationship like a, a marriage. And for better, for worse, we are influenced by the people we connect to. That's why marriage is so, so important because it can really help us to achieve our dreams or can hinder us to advance uh, further. And so when we commit and make associations with people, it's important that we observe that the relationship is honest, that we keep it uh, that way, that we don't allow toxic uh, relationships in our, in our life. And, and there's many signs that the relationship is toxic. Uh, if you're in a relationship, even in a, in a marriage or dating someone, and you feel unsupported, there's communication issues, there's distrust, there's controlling behavior, looks like you're always walking in eggshells, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to kill that dog. It's time for you to put that dog down. Uh, uh, one of the my favorite uh, books that I read in the Bible is the book of Proverbs, because it says there that when we read that book, we uh, obtain wisdom. And uh, one of the uh, passages, one of the scriptures there in Proverbs thirteen twenty says, whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. A companion of fools uh, refers to to engaging in these uh, relationships, toxic relationships, either with Judas, Judas types or with a, a family or friends, close friends that destroy your dreams or uh, with uh, uh, people that just like Brutus killed his father, Julius Caesar, just like Judas sent uh, the, the army to arrest Jesus Christ his friend, there's people in our lives that will do this in different levels. It can be destructive as destroying our lives completely. Uh, they can destroy a dream. They can destroy an endeavor. When we are uh, uh, engaging in doing something and there's vision killers, there are usually people that are close to us. So walk with the wise. That's my main take for today's talk. Walk with the wise and put that dog down. Uh, I would like to uh, conclude uh, telling you uh, about uh, uh, th this man, Paul, in the, in the New Testament, that even though he was betrayed uh, by many and he ends up in jail, he uh, encourages people like this. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So when we do uh, things uh, in life, or we do things for others, or we help others, uh, even though we can suffer betrayal, we can be attacked, we can end up even in jail because of a friend, uh, we uh, should continue to keep our good character, to keep on, because ultimately uh, uh, God that takes care of us will take us uh, into the higher level of our existence. And I believe that today you're listening to this meditation, to this short uh, talk, because there's toxic relationships that you need to cut off 
your life. You need to kill that dog. I'm not calling dog to anyone, but in this sense, that if you uh, were bit by a dog, you need to move on. So this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, uh, just give it a like here on this uh, video. Subscribe on YouTube. I'll be here again next week for another time of encouraging. God bless you.